Holy TPS. Cardano surpasses. Oh, sorry. That was the wrong post. Holy TPS. 134,464 transactions per second as reposted by Charles Hoskinson. Not bad, Cardano. Yes, Charles. Not bad, Cardano. 134,000. Now, I want to add. These are real, actual transactions that were broadcasted to the Cardano blockchain. Not some theoretical number, not some botted number, not some fake number. This is the from the Hydra tournament where the winner was, was receiving, I believe it was the winner, got $100,000, was a $100,000 prize pool, and it showcased the scalability and the true power of what Hydra is going to do. So all the people that were saying, well, Cardano's slow, it's not fast, uh, chomp on that for a little bit, 134K. Now, where does this put Cardano? Let's take a look at the flywheel of crypto TPS. Now, whether you agree with these numbers or not, whether you think there's these are theoretical, which majority of them, of course, are going to be theoretical, but this is what they broadcast. This is what they market. Toncoin, 104,000. Near 100K. Solana, 65. Polygon, so on and so forth. And again, I'm not hung up on, well, they actually do this and no, they actually do this. I'm just saying this is what's marketed for these blockchains, what they do. And Cardano is by far and away with the actual demonstration of 134,000 transactions per second. They're the clear and away winner. Add decentralization, add an amazing team, add one of the most robust developer teams, developer programs, and add the most decentralized governance focused blockchains out there. And tell me, sky's not the limit for Cardano. Uh, man, if you're a Cardano fan uh, and you've been holding for a, a long time and kind of been listening to and watching other chains, other cryptocurrencies really rally in price and everyone kind of beating down on Cardano and saying it's slow, no one's using it, the price isn't moving. Um, if you've been holding through that entire time, my friends, you are about to be rewarded as am I since Cardano is one of my biggest holdings. Uh, so a couple of news I want to share with you today, some important updates. What is going on with Chang Hard Fork Part 2? Also going to take a look at a Cardano chart and some of their TVL. Let's start here. This broke uh, today. Blockfrost and Filecoin Foundation, who would have thought, collaborate to enhance the decentralization of Cardano data. Uh, Blockfro Blockfrost provides an API as a service solution that simplifies access to the Cardano blockchain, offering additional features without the need to run or maintain complex infrastructure and tooling. The benefits of the collaboration include data redundancy, which uh, ensures critical data is securely stored across a distributed network and protected against loss, corruption, and manipulation. This is something that Charles has spoken to vehemently as we move into the governance Voltaire era of the Cardano blockchain. You also have quality assurance. You have data verifiability, leveraging proof of replication. Filecoin ensures data is uniquely stored, while proof of space time validates continuous storage over time. These essential features enable the creation of tamper-proof auditable data sets, paving the way of deploying trustworthy AI applications with Blockfrost. And the last one, commitment to decentralization, which you can't say decentralized without speaking Cardano, securing Cardano applications on Cardano applications on chain data on Filecoin enables developers to build on a truly decentralized, redundant and resilient storage infrastructure. Now, I'm curious in the in the comment section, let me know, is this more bullish for Cardano or is this more bullish for Filecoin? I'm curious to get the Cardano community's thoughts. I think it's bullish for both, but if I had to pick one, I would say it's probably more bullish for Filecoin. Uh, partnering with one of the hottest layer ones in the space today, essentially uh, using them to leverage, uh, or using Cardano and leveraging their, what they do best, which is file storage uh, for Cardano. So shout out to that. I think this is gonna be a great partnership. I'm looking forward to see uh, what things change and what comes about this partnership. I mentioned Chang part two. Why is it important? Well, that's when we start getting that uh, 1.3 billion ADA unlocked and being able to use, hopefully in a good way. So if you're a DRAP out there, if you're voting, make sure we don't blow the money like uh, some other chains did. Uh, so what does this timeline look like? So the ICC, the Interim Constitutional Committee, cannot vote yes on hard fork two uh, until 90 days after hard fork one. 
Now, when did Hard Fork One go live? September 1st. Where are we at? December 3rd. So 90 days has passed. So unless something has changed that I'm unaware of, they can vote yes or no on Chang Hard Fork Part 2. Now, it requires five governance actions to be successfully enacted on chain. Of course, speaking of Chang Hard Fork 2, you know the beauty of Cardano, they don't rush into anything. They back test and peer review and peer research everything to make sure that all the people that have money and resources and their time put in on the Cardano blockchain is not wasted because they want to rush out an update or rush out something to pump the price of the token. So going to be looking forward to Chang Hard Fork Part 2. Speaking of governance, uh, we have people in Argentina right now as the official day one of the Cardano Constitutional Convention has begun. This is uh, posted by Cash Anvil on X. Lots of great conversations taking place already. Looking forward to progressing through all the open items. And he thanks uh, Mr. Hoskinson for setting it up. Also, uh, there's a lot of talk, and, and I want to share, uh, by the way, I can't imagine any of you who are watching this are now following Cardano Whale on X. If you're not, do yourselves a favor. Go give him or her a follow. So this person said, why XRP and ADA are pumping while the rest of the top 10 is red? To which, I think this is a great response here. So people are chasing winners and technicals are part of it, as well as rumors on links to Trump and Musk. He's, of course, speaking of Cardano and ETF inclu uh, inclusion. The $1 billion TVL is about to break. Daily transactions nearing 500,000. That's all out in the open as far as I know. We take a look at Cardano's TVL. It has been skyrocketing, currently sitting at $683 million. It was only 30 days ago, we were at 200 million. So we're approaching that $1 billion mark led by Liquid Swap with $170 million in total value locked up 262% over the last one month. And so you take a look at this, all these different protocols that are running TVL on Cardano. And tell me again why no one's building on Cardano. Y'all take a look at the price. Let's see how price and TVL uh, go together, right? So you have the TVL, which uh, really peaked back in April of 2022 as Cardano's price was going down. But really since then, they've kind of converged. So as we're seeing TVL go up, we're seeing the price of Cardano go up. Now, this might sound like, well, obviously that's what's going to happen, but it's really not. If you go to the different chains, I'm not saying a majority of them, but you can click on multiple chains. Check this out for yourself on DeFiLama.com. You'll see the price go up, but TVL doesn't really move. You're like, okay, well, something's kind of off, right? If there's no value on the network, then how is the price going up? Is this pure speculation? When you see a chart like this, what this tells you is the price is reacting to usage on the network. And we've shown on multiple videos of Cardano on this channel how fees are starting to go up. And in fact, I'll just show you right now. You can take a look here on the bottom from Token Terminal. In green are the fees paid on the Cardano network. And in uh, blue is their fully diluted market cap, which is going up congruently with the fees. So it makes complete sense. You also take a look at the fees are up 469% over a 30-day window. And code commits over the last 30 days are at 1050 code commit so people are building on cardano and why would they not when you just said when you just showed you can do over 150 000, or excuse me 130,000 transactions per second we are at a key pivotal level for cardano on the chart this dollar 18 level dollar 20 level is extremely important as you can see here on the daily we wicked up here close to it this is back on November 23rd, and we've talked about this level and pretty much every Cardano video we've done over the last two to three weeks. This is where we essentially had our double top before we spilled off. This was back in April of 2022. Now, what we want to see, we could potentially see some consolidation around this area, which we're kind of seeing now, right? We have the close above yesterday, which the price closed at around $1.20 even, the bears are trying to push the price down. It's kind of like a tug of war happening right now, right? Bulls are pushing the price up. That's why you see this big wick to around $1.32. Bears are pushing the price back down. And I wouldn't be surprised if this candle holds true and price closes where it opened. Now, once we reclaim and build support and maybe accumulate on top of this $1.18 level, the next key level for Cardano is going to be $1.57 as we go back here. As we go all the way back to December of 2021, after uh, the bear market really just started, Cardano attempted a retest, failed, 
came back down, found support around that $1.20 level, retested it again, got completely rejected, and then spilled off. Once we get past that, uh, the next level is around $1.90. We take a look here. Again, this was back in November of 2021. Came back, failed on a retest, caught some support around that $1.57 level, and then eventually spilled off. We go even further back, all the way back to May of 2021. This is where we saw some resistance almost twice. This was back in May of 2021 and June of 2021 until we had our spill off caught support right around a dollar, and then went to all-time highs. Now, this is just in the short term. If you're a trader, if you're looking for price action, this is what you're looking for. These are some key levels. But we know, and I'm betting a majority of you who are holding Cardano, are holding it for the long term, as am I, and there is so much to be bullish about Cardano in the long term. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We will keep you up to date on everything you need to know about what's happening in the Cardano ecosystem, the Cardano blockchain, and everything you need to know to make money for yourself. Also, we have an entire Cardano playlist. Make sure to check that out. And come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.